how to create amazing gradient patterns in Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop CC220. Key panel here, layers. And you find that via the window menu. Go to view and new guide layout. Set the values 10 and 10 for the columns and rows. Click OK. You can see some guides there now. Go to the pen tool in the tools panel. Set to shape in the top left and set the color to a gradient. You see there the gradients there. Just go to one of the basic gradients. You of course choose any of the gradients, up to you. But I'm just going to go with a basic gradient there. And that may be different if you've got 219, 218, etc. Slightly different, but that gradient should be there. Now click at that intersection there, and I'm going to create a very basic diamond, just four down and and go across, three across. Now you could do two across, up to you. You can always resize it afterwards. I just want it to be uniform. So go down four again. Oops, can't get to that. I think it would move out of the way, wouldn't it, if you go towards it? Some applications do that. But that one doesn't. And click there. So you've got your base. Of course, you could simply just use a square and rotate it. Just as easy. There are many ways, of course, of creating diamonds. You can, of course, just resize it. Just decrease the width or the height. Up to you. Hold down the shift. Of course, depends on your settings. And you can resize it there. So now you've got your diamond design. And you can change that size in all kinds of ways. Up to you. And as you change that, you can see the gradient slightly changes there. Now go to View Menu, and you can get rid of the guides, just simply clear them. Go Clear Guides. And I want to get rid of the background, that's the use for the layers, layers panel, so remove the background, select that and delete it. Now at this point, I want a selection. I'll just go down to New Guides from Shape. You get some guides there because I want to create a quick selection there. So go to the Rectangular Marquee tool. Go over the whole of that diamond. Once you've done that, go to Edit and Define Pattern. Click OK. So you've got that. That's your pattern. That's the initial pattern. But you can just go over to the layers again and double click on the layer and it bring up the gradient fill and just change the angle. So you set it to minus 90. You don't have to do that. Of course, you could use a different angle. Up to you. I'm just using that. Again, edit menu and define pattern. And you can create all kinds of gradients. You could use a different gradient in this, but I'm just going for the reverse the opposite of the previous one. Now I've got another document. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the fill layer. So layer menu. And go down to new fill layer and use pattern. Click OK. Of course, could give it a name as well. And get another panel pop up. I'll suggest something. Well, it's up to you. Set it 75, 50, 25, up to you. And you can see the pattern there. Just select that. Click OK. Now you could duplicate that one, perfectly reasonable, via the layer menu. Uh, or you can also just go down again to layer menu and new fill layer and select the pattern. 
and give it a different name if you wish. Click OK. And now you see it defaults to 100. Be nice if it defaulted to the last one, but goes to back to 100 and select the other pattern, the one you set, created first. And then go over to the layer itself and just shift it around. Just move it. And you can just reposition it. And you can position it so it just fits in the gap between the diamonds. So I said you can vary the gradient. You don't have to go with this gradient. You could go with a completely different set of two gradients. So you've got both of those gradients now. And what you can do, you can turn them all into a single layer or smart object. So layer menu, smart objects, convert smart objects. The great thing about smart objects is you can always go back to that later. You can always double click into the smart object and change things if you wish to do that. What you can also do now when you've got smart object, you could use edit menu and transform and distort or maybe warp. You could go to the image menu and adjustments and change the color up to you doing that as well. Or use the filter menu and apply stylized oil paint, etc. So transform and warp. Or maybe resize it and duplicate the design. So you can see you can warp that design to create quite a nice warped diamond pattern. Nice glass on its side anyway. A goblet. Press return. Let's say you can go to image menu, adjustments, recolor things, filter menu, duplicate that design, whole loads of things. And of course, you can still go back and edit it because it's a smart object. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always adding new tutorials about Photoshop, Illustrator, etc. Please subscribe to Graphic Extras. Also, please add some comments. Always appreciated. A dislike or like. Thank you much.